here we are on our way to the state fair there's our bus <laughs> you didn't want to be you didn't want your back in it <laughs> Minnesota get together. That blue barn place had really good meatballs one year and I think we got something bacon there before. That's pretty good. The blue barn. This is the Buzz and Blue Frozen Fruit Punch. There might be some words I'm missing there. I actually enjoyed a lot. It just tastes like a blue raspberry slushy. Drink number one is off to a good start, except for her. So for me, off to a good start. Yours did kind of just taste like soda water. With the power of a fork, Stella is stirring it to apparently make it better. That's dangerous. It's a little better, yeah. This grain looks pretty nice, <laughs> but this grain over here has a finer texture about it. But this grain is bigger. I don't know how you decide that. There's Fairchild and Fairbone, but apparently Fairbone's is ne his nephew. Like Donald Duck only has nephews, they never have kids. They always have nephews. We don't want to get serious about kids because then you got to give them a wife and you got to do this whole thing and you, you don't want to do that. Some other brothers. I'm thinking that initial aftertaste might have been the straw. I mean, it's a copper straw, but it's like plastic wine, so I'm thinking it just had a weird taste in the straw. Otherwise, it's okay. It was That's what they mean by reusable straws. Used by other people. Pop in the new drink. Courtesy of Lulu's Public House, we have the Blue Hawaiian. Liftbridge Blue Hawaiian. Nice little slushy. Which one was yours? Uh, raspberry. Also from Lulu's Public House, which is weird. The best thing about the State Fair is finding buildings that you never knew existed. There's a whole ass building over here. I had no idea that it existed. Even at the State Fair, they already have Halloween a coming. You see a Jack Skellington up there. Oh man, they're not gonna get through this crowd. Wow. Just to give you an idea of crowd size on a Saturday.
health was a bad choice. Hard seltzer. I don't think it has a lot of taste, but as a seltzer, it's working. Oh man, look how fluffy that one is. They have a Blonde Rush, which is listed as malty and sweet. It goes down pretty nice. That is a little malty and sweet. This is Blacklist. Peachy, hazy IPA. I don't know why I'm going all the way to the state fair to have more Blacklist, but... Pretty good for an IPA. Nice, it's smooth. It's surprisingly smooth for an IPA. It's called Foggy Bottom. I like the name. I don't know if I like the drink, but it's from Lucci Line. See, that's another IPA that goes down pretty nicely. I'm surprised that these IPAs are not nearly as bitter as I would expect them to be. And the last one is Shell's Firebrick, which I haven't had a lot of shells in my time, but this one's looking a little darker than usual. It's pretty good actually. You know, like a lot of these ended up being a lot, they go down a lot easier than I thought they would. Even the IPAs, so this was a good batch. Good batch overall. Selma s'more sandwich and the monster cookie sandwich. Some ice cream in there.
that goes to the grandstand. So you probably happened on it when we've gone to a concert. Um, 